If your pre mat needs a quick clean, then this video is for you. Assalamu alaikum Blifians, you're watching Bliffy, the place to be for balancing your lifestyle with Deen and Dunya. So let's get right into how to clean your pre mat without washing it with me. So this is what my pre mat looks like with all the dust and stuff that has collected from the air while it was laid open. And so I'm going to start brushing it first with the brush with hard bristles. So all I'm doing here is going with the brush in swift, quick motions. This helps me loosen up the dust that has been sitting inside the prayer mat for so long. And so we're just going to keep brushing and brushing and brushing until we're done. A few people have suggested before to use a vacuum cleaner on my prayer mat. Just why not use a vacuum cleaner? But that is because this, tub, this, this dust is so stubborn. It just wouldn't come off with a vacuum cleaner. And it does not really work for flat prayer mats like mine. So if you have a furry prayer mat, definitely you can go for it because brushing might destroy that mat, but vacuum cleaning can work much better. And this is how I clean my prayer mat. So this side, I've already cleaned it up. Little bits of dust are there, but we'll move on later on to that. And this is the other half, which I just didn't clean. And this is all the dust that came up, just from one half of it. Look at that dust. And now I'm going to flip it around. Just like So this is all the dust that came off from the prey mat. Yep, that's all the dust. So this is just me picking up all that dust. So we move on to the second step, give this video a thumbs up because it helps push this video to other people who need it. And if you give it a thumbs up, you might be helping someone who really needs to clean their prayer mat and they don't want to wash it. So give this video a thumbs up and let's go. And then because there was some dust still remaining on this, even though I have to clean it as much as possible. Now what we're gonna do is take some tape and if you don't this is you can use a lint roller if you like for this step, but this is just if you can cover a lint roller or you want to DIY and you just take the tape and then if before you cut it off, this is a trick I learned on TikTok, you just like kind of fold it at a 90 degree angle. So like you fold it like that because and then you cut off this spot. So you cut it off like this. And then why is because next time you want it you have a flap to find where the tape is. And so then with this cut off tape part, you make a loop and so the sticky part is on the outside. Put your hand in it and then you're going to roll on to places where the dust has not come off from. So if you wanted to get rid of dust in this line, all you have to do is stick it and then just like roll it. You see, like all of that comes off and it comes onto this tape. Look at that tape, all that dust. I know that washing it is the best way, but another demonstration I'm going to show you. You can see these here. It's not dust really, maybe it's things that stuck. And so all I'm going to do is take it and then just like keep like pushing it. And then just keeps like collecting all of the things that couldn't come off during the brushing part. And if you want you can just go around like until your thing gets ruined. I mean until your tape does have no capacity to go. So look at this white spot. Now I'm gonna just This is very satisfying to do, it's fun and it doesn't take too much of effort as well as much as actual washing does. So I'm just going to keep going on and on with this until it actually stops working. Okay. 
these things need to come off with washing it's not that big it's just looks big because i was zoomed in but it doesn't really affect much the main part to clean is this part because that's where you do soju and you don't want people to come onto your forehead so might be the best way to clean it sometimes you want to clean it quickly or it might be winter like it's for me here and drying it would take a painfully long time and you don't want to replace your prayer mat with another one because you're just too attached to your actual prayer mat and so this is a quick way to clean your prayer mat obviously if your prayer mat has some impurities which are not supposed to be prayed on then definitely give it a wash because just brushing it off and using the tape over it does not work does not work because you need to get rid of the impurities which will come off with mud or water obviously water is the better option here so wash it don't be so lazy if it really really needs a clean this is just for quick clean and this is what i do when i need a click when i need to click when i need to quickly clean it off and i hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed cleaning your prayer mat with me and if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it helps me make more videos for you and until next time Blippi believes and stay tuned to Blippi.